Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy Vanity bringing you a Pokemon Showdown Battle versus King Bong 93. What a name. So uh yeah. As you can see, I'm using this Gyarados team again with the defensive max HP, max special defense, top of the blue. And he has some threatening stuff on the other side. I'm, I was looking at this team, I was like, I'm about to get 6 0 by this team because, like, I don't know. I was just looking at the composition and I was like, oh, this is not good for me at all. But, anyways, well, this bad one, interestingly, so let's get into it. So, I'm gonna lead off with my Rotom Wash as he leads off with his Latios. Now, I go for a Will List turn 1 as he tricks me a Scarf. I uh, wasn't too worried about it, because uh, I was like, Rotom isn't going to be that useful in this battle anyways. So I miss, so now I'm going to switch out to my Clefable just to absorb the Dragon move. He goes for Draco, which is cool. So now he switches in his Mag as I Thunder Wave it, and that would prove to be huge later, so it's good I got that Paralysis on Mag. So now I know I can take any hit with my Heatran, so he makes a good play in Volt Switches and brings in his Grin. So this Grin threatens me, so I'm going to switch out into my Defensive Bulu, knowing I can eat any water hit he wants to go for. This Surf does only 20% from a Greninja, that's really good. So I eat, the, I eat it up in that grassy terrain, I'm only at, I'm back at 92. So I'm gonna go and switch out into my Rotom. I was just doing that to see if he had Gunk Shot, but he switches in his Lando. So I Hydro Pump on his switch into Mag, and that only does 18. So I was like, wow, this Mag is really defensive. And uh, he gets paralyzed as a switch in Heatran, so that's cool. So he can't gain momentum for Volt Switch, potentially. So now he hard switches into his Grin which um, allows me to get off the Magma Storm, so I'm going to be able to put some pressure on this Grin, which is cool. So now I'm going to go into my Gyarados just to check for, um, <clears throat> just to absorb the water move, and I didn't want to go into Bulu in case he went for Gunk Shot. So he shows me Surf again, so I'm thinking he doesn't have Gunk Shot at this point. And for some reason, he switches in his Latios to my Gyra, I Mega, and go for Crunch, and that takes it out. So now uh, he's going to go into his Mega Pinsir, and he's going to kill me with a CC. I just didn't have a switch in for Pinsir. And I had no idea what he was going to go for, so I just kind of, you know, sacked the gear up. So, now he goes, and now I go into my, um, we able to try and cripple it. And he goes into his mag, absorbs the Thunder Wave very nicely. And he kills himself as I go for Stealth Rock. I switch in my Heatran to take the Flash Cannon. It lives easily. And now I go for Earth Power as he goes for a Z Gigavolt Havoc. And Heatran, luckily it lives. So now he's forced to switch in case he wants to sack his Magna Zone, which he doesn't want to do. So now he goes into Greninja and he's forced to eat another Magna Storm, which is really nice. And this Greninja is getting really low on HP. So now I switch in my Rotom just to see what he wanted to go for. He goes for Dark Pulse, and that really sucks because that's a two-hit KO on my Rotom. So I'm like, okay. So I get to go into Kartana now, and I go for Leaf Blade right here as he switches in his Landorus, and it's it's pretty good to get some damage on this Lando. So later my Bulu can kind of KO it from where it is with Horn Leech. So now I switch right into my Bulu knowing I can hit heat. I wall this Landorus completely. As he goes for Stealth Rock, the only move I'm scared of on Landorus is Explosion. And judging from Stealth Rock and Leftovers, he doesn't have it. He's defensive Lando. So now he switches into his Greninja as Father as I go for Sword, Sword Stance. So now I'm sitting at plus two. Unfortunately, he has his Pinsir right here, so I'm forced to sack my Heatran now. And it's honestly not looking good for me at this point because the thing I'm really scared of is my Cartana. I can't let it get. Um, I was scared of it getting trapped by that Magnezon, but at the same time, I really knew I needed to kill the Spencer. So now he sort of stands up right in my face. He gets lucky and lives it, so he's able to get off a big hit with Quick Attack. Quick Attack as I Smart Strike and get the Beast Boost activated. So now he makes a weird play. He doesn't switch in his Magnezon. He goes into his Landorus, which I thought was kind of awkward. But then in retrospect, maybe he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire, but even then, Kartana's special defense is so low, Thunderbolt probably would have KO'd me in like two hits, and I'm Scarf, so I was locked into um, Smart Strike, so that was a weird play. But I, anyway, he's going to go into his Mag, as I'm in with my Bulu, I go for Sword Stance, um, as he's in with his Mag, and luckily he gets paralyzed right here as I go for Super Power, and I'm able to get off some big damage on the Mag Nagirna. And now seeing you guys where I am, and knowing I really needed to keep up my attack, I go for another sword of stance, and he gets paralyzed again, which was really huge. So now I go for superpower, and my Bulu's sitting at full HP, and I'm at minus three to minus two defense, but it doesn't matter because his Landorus can't really hurt that much. I go for flash cannon, and I live that easily. That's the power of defensive Bulu. Look how easily it lived that. It only took 70. I mean, it only took 7, yeah, basically 70 from that flash cannon, which is really nice. So I go into my Landorus, and I switch in my Clefable, knowing I can eat any hit relatively easily. And this battle is basically over, because, yeah, 
Is it able for Earthquake? Oh, it does about 30. I'm able to go for a Moon Blast. And I was originally coming in just to sack Clef Fable so I could Revenge Kill with a Kartana, but that doesn't even happen. So I just Moon Blast again, and that's a good game. So yeah, that was a really cool, that was a really good battle. So he made some weird plays. I honestly don't know why he didn't switch in uh, his Magnezone on my Kartana, because if he had done that, he would have trapped it. And that would have made winning a lot harder because I would have been forced to switch. I would have been forced to go directly into Bulu. And from there, I think Magnezone honestly would have swept me. Magnezone was such a huge threat. And I lost my Heatran so early to his Greninja that I thought I was going to lose at that point in the battle. But he played his Magnezone very badly, which, you know, it's strange. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take the I'm gonna take the dub. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Vanity and the deuces.